movies and knitting just go together, don't they? I love nothing more than to sit in front of my computer watching films. And I'm always so ecstatic, as I'm sure you are, when I see a scene pop up with knitters in it. It's astonishing to me how many I have stumbled upon. So here's a quick review of 26 of them. Hope you enjoy. The first film is Babette's Feast, a 1987 Danish drama based on a story by Karen Blixen, who wrote under the pen name Isaac Denison. She's the same person who wrote the story that Out of Africa is based on. This film is about two sisters. You can see they're both wearing things that they have knit. The next film, Blue Velvet, showed Frances Bay as Aunt Barbara in David Lynch's film uh, of 1986. Here you have Cary Grant in Mr. Lucky and Renee Zellweger in Chicago. Richard Gere is handing her some knitting to try and show that she's innocent. Crocheters also sometimes crop up in film. This is Haley Lou Richardson in a marvelous movie called Columbus, as in Indiana. She actually crochets a lot in real life. You can find her on Instagram. Columbus, Indiana is also known as the Athens on the Prairie. It's a city that boasts over 70 fantastic modernist buildings by some of the 20th century's most famous architects. Here you have Simone Signoret on the right in a French film called Diabolique from 1955. There's a scene in a film called Gervais where there's a wedding party inside the Louvre Museum. It was a film directed by René Clément in 1956 based on Emile Zola's novel called La Somoire of 1877. This is a quick shot from a film called Isadora. And in this next film, there are several different shots. Every night after dinner, the woman pulls out her knitting. She's knit the sweater that her son is wearing, but she's knitting something else for him. This is from Jean Dillemont, 23K du Commerce, 1080 Bruxelles written and directed by the Belgian filmmaker Chantal Ackerman. The actors you see here are Delphine Seyrig and Jan Decourt. Film was made in 1975. This is Helen Carey playing the role of Jean, the babysitter in Todd Field's 2006 film entitled Little Children. Here's Gail Patrick in the 1936 film my Man Godfrey. Once again, we have Cary Grant. This time he's not knitting, but he's watching his wife in the film, played by Alexis Smith. He's playing the role of the famous composer, songwriter, Cole Porter, and she's his wife, Linda Porter. This is a scene that you could miss if you blink from a French film called L'Armée des Ombres, the English translation would be Army of Shadows, um, 1969. It's about the French resistance. This is Julie Harris knitting English style in John Huston's Reflections in a Golden Eye of 1967. Hollywood knitter Elizabeth Patterson is seen here as Aunt Jenny in 1933's story of Temple Drake. Here's a few scenes from Sun Valley Serenade, including some wonderful hand knits. Jean Arthur is wearing a pretty sweater here in Talk of the Town of 1942. A great recent film, Tar, had a a quick scene of the mother of one of the characters wearing a hand knit sweater with a ball of yarn next to her as she's knitting. 
here in the very famous, marvelous film, The Women, is Roz Russell at a fashion show with knitting in her bag, 1939. This was on the screen for a split second in Wes Anderson's 2014 film, The Grand Budapest Hotel. The inimitable Ruth Gordon starred in Carl Reiner's Where's Papa in 1970. What do you think she might be knitting? Handsome Bill Holden is seen here with Nancy Kwan in a quick scene in the world of Susie Wong. Ethel Barrymore knits as Aunt Jessie in Young at Heart, a 1954 film starring Doris Day and Frank Sinatra. The lovely Audrey Hepburn is seen here in a quick scene from Breakfast at Tiffany's where she's saying, Jose brought up the plans for a new ranch house he's building. And I have the strange feeling that maybe the blueprints and my knitting instructions got switched. You might remember that she's knitting a sweater that has three arms. And lastly, we have Meryl Streep in the bridges of Madison County. It's a very short scene, but she looked like she knew what she was doing. She is, as you may know, the most nominated actor for Academy Awards with 21 nominations to her name. Well, that about wraps it up for this week. I hope you've enjoyed my trip to the movies with you. See you next time. Yeah.